Hey, this is Jim. Welcome to Silent Sales Machine Radio. Got a guest for you today, which means we're going to be on YouTube. If you're listening, this is one of those episodes where you can actually watch us as well if you'd like. There's always a link in the show notes at silentjim.com for all the great resources we'll be talking about today. Uh, but I'm super excited about this one today. This is some proven Amazon course students, a couple that started into our course. They've been with us for about six years now, building their Amazon business. And it started off, they were doing it alongside some other career things they had going on. We'll dive into that a little bit today with Rich once we get him on the line here. But what's exciting is they've grown an incredible multi-seven-figure business at this point. And what's even better is they're inviting you to come to where they do their business in Phoenix. Come hang out, spend some time, learn the system from the bottom up, see the whole operation, meet their team. We've never offered something like this before where a small group at a time can go to a very intimate setting, ask your questions. There's no intimidating crowd. It's at the most six or so people at a time. And we're going to do several of these and kind of test it out, but we're launching that today. Uh, the website is replinwholesaleworkshop.com replinwholesaleworkshop.com. For those of you who've been hearing multiple episodes of the past several months, listening to them, you've heard us talk about the replin strategy, why we're so excited about it, all the hundreds of success stories we're generating with that Amazon strategy, that low risk, rapid acceleration program that we love so much. Well, Rich and Shelly have been doing it with wholesale. They've kind of got this hybrid concept where they've combined the two. They've systemized it. They've got a team with very specific roles and it's just blowing up. They see opportunity everywhere. And it's pretty impressive what they've built. So I'm going to really enjoy hanging out with Rich today. I think you're going to love it as well. And we've got a few tools we're going to mention along the way, a few resources we're going to mention along the way, but don't fiercely scribble and take notes. Remember, we're going to stick everything in the show notes at silentgym.com. Uh, before we get going here, you'll hear us mention it a couple times on today's program as well. But the Proven Conference is coming up in July 2021. Rich and Shelley will be there along with the vast majority of the guests that you've heard on this show the past several months. A lot of the leaders and coaches from our team, the moderators that you see in our Facebook group every day, we're getting together, hanging out in Tampa in July 2021. Theprovenconference.com is the website for details on that. Uh, but with that brief introduction, I'm going to click a couple buttons, get Rich here on the line, and he's going to fill us in on their business and how you can come learn from them. And also, before I kick it over, just to let you know, uh, he's going to share with us some very specific strategies on how to find great wholesale items as well today. So there's plenty of meat in this episode for everyone from brand new, never sold on Amazon before, to the experienced seller looking for more great products to sell. Something for everybody today. You're going to love this one. Appreciate you hanging out for a few minutes with us today. Uh, let's grab Rich real quick. So Rich, welcome back to the show, man. Get us caught up. Hey, yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me back. I'm excited to be here. Um, yeah, so I think it was, it was what, like, uh, it was October we talked last? Has it been that long already? Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been a little while. So yeah, last, last we spoke, we, uh, we've moved since we last spoke, actually. Um, we're, we're still in the same industrial complex. So we were in like a 22, 2300 square foot uh, warehouse. It was their smallest one. And we'd only been there six, seven months. And we're starting to just kind of bust at the seams with, with all the growth. So we reached out to the landlord. Um, we knew that a couple of the units had come open. And so I started talking to him about that. And there's a 4,500 square foot space that was open. So we just, we took that we moved over. And uh, now we're in just this, this giant warehouse. So it's, it's fantastic. We're loving it over. The guys are super happy. And uh, we, so the best part about it is we found a uh, profit leak in our business that we were able to plug to more than pay for the additional lease costs. Really? Uh, yeah. So it's, it's in our shipping. Like we were doing just strictly UPS shipping. Yeah. Um, and we, we decided we really needed to start palletizing. And so nice. now we're palletizing, we're doing LTL and we've gone like our average price per pound was at 32 cents. And now our average price per pound is like 12 and a half cents. 
That's uh, phenomenal. It's, and we, it's the same. We, we probably we need to do, I, I can tell you right now, Rich, there's people going, hey, teach me how to do that. You guys need to put together or someone on our team needs to put together. I know Nathan's pretty good at LTL as well, but uh, yeah, you can drop, you can cut it in half pretty fast. Yeah, it's crazy. We, I was looking at the numbers and we, we spent over $45,000 last year just shipping our product right. to Amazon. And on our current run rate, like we expect to save over $30,000 this year just in shipping costs. LTL, so, less than truckload, which is a weird term, but that LTL just means sticking it all on one of those pallets instead of individual boxes, right? And yeah, yeah. So, it up and Yep. And it's, and it's really not that hard. So like I tasked my warehouse manager to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually made him a partner in it, right? So I'm like, dude, we're spending way too much on shipping find out how to do LTL and I'll give you a 5% commission on all freight savings. And so he's like, dude, absolutely figured out in a week. And you know, we got the equipment we needed and we're, we're off to the races. So, man, that's great. Uh, well, let, let's do a show or a write up or a white paper or something on. Sure. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Product, Cause we don't have it. And I know you guys are, you guys are, you guys are smoking through it right now. So, yeah. All right. So, so that, That's a big change. So you paid for your, you doubled your warehouse space and you paid for it by changing your shipping strategy a little bit. Uh, What else has happened since we talked last? Well, so last we talked, um, we've automated the whole business except for like the PO process, right? Like I'm still, still managing the purchase orders. So we kind of had a hiccup there. I hired a buyer. Uh, She worked for us for four or five weeks. And then I had to let her go just because of stuff that she was doing. So I had it all to where like it was all automated. I let her go and we've kind of stepped back on that. And now my, uh, my office manager and I are splitting that responsibility. Gotcha. So it's like a 50, 50 cut there with, with what he does and with I, what I do. Uh, okay. But we hired a virtual assistant and that's really helped us as well. Um, it's fueling our, our wholesale growth um, and our, she's doing a lot of online arbitrage too. So it's, it's fueling both of those. Um, and so last year we ended the year at 2.5 million, which was up from the 1.1 million we did the previous year. And uh, we're currently run rating at about 3.6 this year. Nice. And we just found five new wholesale accounts that uh, we think will add about a half a million in annual revenue. Um, That's tremendous. Great margin. So we're looking just since we added that, we're looking to probably end in the year a little over four. So and and you guys started. This will be your third full year as we complete twenty twenty one. Correct? Uh, no, no. So we started back in twenty fifteen. So when we finished this year, it'll be our sixth year. Okay, but things so, really took uh, that because you guys were doing. You you had uh, if if we go back and listen to the other podcast episodes, you had multiple other businesses that you've been involved in and. You jumped kind of with both feet into it, um, and where things really took off. Uh, right. Yeah. So we we initially started with in the event industry. We started doing right. photo booths on bubble soccer, and then and then the gym. On. Yeah. Yeah. We we did the gym. We, we did the gym for a few months, and it wasn't a right fit, so we sold the gym. Right on time. That was right before COVID hit. Right before COVID. Yeah. So yeah. we kind of lucked out with with the timing on that one. Yeah. yeah. And, and you've, you guys have become incredibly valuable coaches on our team now, creating content with us. And before we get into this new offer that we have for everybody, where they can actually come and hang out with you guys for a few days, that's awesome. That's just going to yeah. be like, come see your facility, learn from you guys, learn the process, learn replans and wholesale. <laughs> it's going to be incredible. But I, I want to keep, I'm going to keep plugging into your story a little bit, make sure we fill in all the gaps of, you know, because I think if we go back and listen, is this your this is your third episode with this, or is it four? Third? It is, yeah, this is number three. Yep. Three, okay. Yeah, they, you know, with, with coming up on 400 episodes, I can be excused for not remembering exactly how many times people have been on the program. I knew it was yeah. more than two, but you can go back and kind of see the timeline of you guys maturing and the development, and we'll stick links to both of those shows in the show notes as well, so you can see the first two times uh, you were with Shelly there, uh, the first couple times, I think, but... Yep. Um, and we didn't wear matching shirts this time. That's right. The first time we, <laughs> we came on the show, we both had the same shirt on. That was right. That yes, was you. Yeah, we did. <laughs> um, so that just the maturing process of your business and kind of your approach and your confidence, you're answering more questions than you're asking now, but I'm sure you've learned, you know, we've talked about this is a leadership journey. You know, it, for example, I mean, I hope you don't mind being a little candid, but you know, I texted you a few days ago and I said, Hey man, you're speaking at the event coming up, the proven conference, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind sharing your response? I was like, oh man, I've never done anything like that before. Are you sure you want me to do it? 
Yeah, uh, those are the best speakers, man. I mean, like that that's the journey. You go from being an uncertain buyer of a course to becoming a coaching student, to becoming a coach, to becoming a leader and a content creator. And now people are coming to your 4,000 square foot warehouse and sitting for a few days learning from you. That's the process. And we all learn from you. There's there's things that you guys have figured out that other people on our team just don't know yet. And and that's the the philosophy of growth and and sharing the open-handed philosophy we have around here, I guess you could say the abundance mentality. Um, but what else is going on in your business? Before we dive into kind of the, what I'll call the second half of this episode today, what other changes have been happening? And, and just give us a quick dirty summary too, for those who may not know, are, are you doing replens? Is that still, would you consider yourself a replen? Or are you pretty much all in with wholesale now? Just paint us a clearer picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do both. Um, when I, I came from the corporate world of distribution, right? So I was a sales manager. And so I really, I already understood wholesale and it just, it made sense for us to start in wholesale. Um, I'm probably one of the few guys that you'll ever meet that starts in wholesale. And then a few years later, it gets into, to rebuns. Drifts over the other way. Yeah. Yeah. So we did, we were exclusively wholesale for probably the first, oh, four years of the business. Um, and you know, we, we did it out of the house for a few years and then we started and got a little 900 square foot facility and then upgraded to that 2,500 now we're 4,500. Um, but it was, so it was, let me, let me remember. So it was December of 2019 that we started digging into the replens course. And so we started sourcing replens, uh, January of 2020. So we're almost a full year and a half in doing replens. And so now, now we do both. And the way we do it so that it's not um, too chaotic, right? So like I have hired my shopper who is also my replen sourcing manager and his focus is replens mm-hmm. and shopping for him and growing the replen line. And then my office manager, he's also my wholesale sourcing manager. So he focuses on wholesale. So we're probably, oh, 65, 70% wholesale and then 25% plus replants. Gotcha. Uh, and we, we love the kind of the, the hybrid of both. Right. Like, and, and we tried arbitrage when we first started six years ago and I couldn't figure it out. But we were chasing like the clearance and we were chasing the seasonal and, and I'm not a bargain shopper. And I, I just, it didn't speak to me and I couldn't, couldn't figure it out. And replenishables through wholesale is what really spoke to me. Right. Right. And and it wasn't until Jimmy's course that really, you know, shifted my mindset with arbitrage that helped me realize, Hey, we can have replenishable product. That's not necessarily wholesale. That's also like retail or online. Um, And so now it's like this all, all replenishables, right. It's just this kind of hybrid model of, you know, the retail store can also be sort of our wholesaler, if you will, um, just, you know, just, so we have that one guy that focuses on it so that we're not kind of just chasing too many things at once. It, break it down for me. If, if like, if you had to define wholesaling, what do you, what do you mean by that? Because it, I know what I, I, what comes to mind for me is I have to place a slightly bigger order. A order. I got to be kind of confident in what it is I'm getting ready to order. Cause I'm buying, I'm buying it in quantity so I can get a discount. Mm-hmm. Right. Whereas replens is I can go buy one, two, three at a time, four at a time, one sells. I go buy another one. I got my shopper out there with a shopping list and we're only selling stuff that's selling at a steady pace and it's no risk. If the price tanks, I liquidate my three or four units. You know, that's kind of the, the replen versus the wholesale in a nutshell. What would you add to that kind of general description? Because you guys are doing what we're calling a hybrid model of both where you're finding these replens and you're saying, hey, okay, that, this is good. Let's get into wholesaling this type of thing. That's my understanding. You know, fill in some blanks there for me. Yeah. So we, we do try to move. The, yeah, the great thing about replens is we can like establish the demand, find the demand because, you know, those retail stores kind of have that dialed in, right? They, they understand right. the customer. They know what's cooking. Yeah. They know what's exactly. selling. Exactly. So you can go into the store and you can find it and then you can move it over to a distributor or to the brand direct, right? So I, I do think that, that wholesale is pretty intimidating for a lot of people. And for that reason, like they think that a lot of people think that you have to place these massive orders, right? Like they got large MOQs and that's not always the case, especially when you're dealing with distributors, you know? So one of the things we did is, is 
we found a lot of replens at the local dollar stores, right? And so we went out and, and we did searches for dollar store distributors, right? And we found distributors that are distributing the same types of stuff that we're finding at the dollar stores. Okay. And so instead of paying a dollar, not all dollar stores are a dollar, right? But instead of paying a dollar or, or whatever, or like five dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe now we're paying 90 cents or maybe we're paying 85 cents. Right. So it's not a huge savings, but it's, I mean, that's 10, 15%. Yes. Right. And that, and that can be huge. Yeah. Well, a lot of these guys, like they'll take MOQs of, of $250, $500, you know, and you can buy one case or two cases at a time. And so a lot of the stuff with replens that you're finding, they're two packs, they're four packs, six packs. Right. right. So if you're selling a six pack and you only have to buy one case from the distributor, you know, you're still only buying two units, right? So you're not going crazy deep on, on a lot of this stuff. You, know, you may have to dig into that distributor and find 10, 20 replens from that distributor before you can place an order, right? right? It's your men. But, you know, if you're going to go to Walmart, hopefully you're finding more, more than 10, 20, 30 there, right? Or the grocery store or wherever. So I don't see it as, as a huge issue with the MOQs. Um, and, and the great thing about the replens model is it really changed our mindset with wholesale, right? So instead of like going into wholesale and asking for their, their Excel sheet with all their UPCs and running that through a scanner, there are thousands of listings. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're using the replen sourcing method in our wholesale lists. Right. So we're, we're, we're searching on Amazon by the brand, by the product, the size, um, you know, throwing in that those words at the end, bundle, two pack, you know, multi pack, multi -pack all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And we're finding the wholesale listings the same exact way you would with with replants. And I just want to I want to talk just for a moment to someone who's brand new. If we're talking over your head right now, I apologize because uh, about. <laughs> 60%, 50, 60% of our listeners, they know exactly what Rich and I are talking about right now with, with these different strategies. But if you're brand new, there's plenty of other episodes where we kind of go into the basics of what replant is, what it means to wholesale. Don't be intimidated by these things. We're just talking about finding profitable products to sell on Amazon. That's all we're talking about right now. It's kind of like uh, Rich, one of my math, one of my favorite math teachers ever. It was some, you know, it was an advanced statistics class. I have a statistics minor. And he started off the year saying, all the math you will ever do is addition of subtraction. Addition of, that's, that's it. All math is addition. Numbers can only do two things. They can get bigger and they can get smaller. That's it. That's all they do. And he really simplified it, you know, from that point forward. You know, the stuff we're talking about right now, it sounds complicated, but all we're talking about is finding stuff for $5 that you can sell for 20. And there's various strategies or buying stuff for 20, you can sell for 100. You know, that's what we're talking about. Finding products that you can make a profit on. There's various strategies to do that. The place we love to start new students is with replans. And that's why we're talking, spending so much time on replans. Some people just stay there and they've built incredible businesses, you know, two, three, five hundred thousand dollars a month businesses just with the replans model and a team of shoppers. It's amazing from all over the world. But what you guys are doing is you're saying, okay, let's plug this wholesale piece on here. That has that stability. You get into some, in some recent episodes, we've talked a little bit about wholesale. We've got a great wholesale training module in the Proven Amazon course as well that teaches you some of these concepts and how to find them. But you're doing this hybrid. You're kind of blending the two together. You're using the disciplines of a replan research, checking Keepa, knowing your numbers beforehand, going in small testing, searching by keywords, you're not testing the products on the list they give you. You're saying, okay, I see five or six things here with the same brand name. Let's go check that brand name on Amazon and see what's popping. Because if they can get us these five or six items, they can probably get us these other items that actually are doing way better, according to the Keepa research, for example, right? So yeah. you're, you're blending and hybriding. I love that. It's added stability. Obviously, it's added scale. So I think you're painting a really clear picture. And uh, this, I think this is one of those episodes that pretty much anybody can bite into and learn something. And I just wanted to speak to the new listeners and maybe the people who haven't sold yet as well, because sometimes big numbers and, and new terminology scare those folks off. Don't be intimidated. Um, okay, so I, I love the update. What else can you tell us about this hybrid model and, 
And how might we apply it right now? Like if, if we want to like say, I'm not doing any wholesale, I'm doing just replens. What advice do you have for me to kind of start that transition? Well, okay. So, so you know, I'll get on the advice just in one second, but. Oh, sure. Take your time, man. One thing that, that we love about this too is in the, the COVID era, you know, we've got hundreds of SKUs that we've sourced that we can't like find, right? Like it's out of stock. It's just so hard to find. And so doing this kind of hybrid model also allows us to second and third source a lot of our products, right? So stuff that we've even moved to wholesale, sometimes the distributor or the brand itself has been out of stock. And so we go right back to the store and we start buying at the store again because it's still profitable there. You know, right. and so it's been great to, to have a second, third source on a lot of this stuff. That's that's a great point. The part of the beauty of replans, I left it out. We didn't do a real thorough job of explaining it, but is it's stuff you buy full price retail. You don't have to go out and hunt for sales and wait for bargains and deals and negotiate with the manager. No, you you're grabbing everything they got on the shelf at full retail price. Once you understand the replans discipline, there's very little bargain hunting needed. Right? I mean, you'll take the discounts you can find. We all like to use our, you know, 2% cash back card or, you know, gift cards bought at a discount or whatever. All that's good. But you're not actually looking or waiting for sales to happen in the retail stores. That's part of the beauty of replens. So yeah, you, if your distributors run out of stuff, there's still stuff on the shelf. Right? Right. That's the last place that inventory sits is on the store shelf waiting yeah. for someone to come along and, and snag it. Are you guys staying pretty regional with your replens or have you guys expanded out like further? Um, like with, like for uh, retail. So we do, we do a lot of, uh, just, uh, like the big box stores. Um, so a lot of the stuff that we're doing, you can find pretty much anywhere. Um, right. but do you guys like drive three hours to send somebody to go clear out the oh, next town? And- no, well, okay. We have, <laughs> but, but we don't do a lot of that. Right. But it's just uh, not necessary. Time, yeah. I mean, I'm in the Phoenix Metro area. There's, I don't even know, a hundred Walmarts here. There's, you know, so the stores we're hitting, like there's so many um, that we don't have that problem with like not having enough product here. But there have been times where I'll send my shopper down to Tucson, you know, because he's already gone to the whole Phoenix Valley and cleared the shelves of everything of a a product or two. And so he'll he'll drive two hours down to Tucson to go buy. So we had a replan that we found at Costco uh, at Q4 it was just kind of a little happy accident. I was in store, I was looking at stuff, you know, I used the seller app and I I scanned the the front of it, you know, not the barcode, I scanned the front of it and it popped up and Amazon sells this thing. Amazon retail sells it, you know, very consistent, but they're out of stock Q4. Right. And and we went and bought everything we could find in the Valley, everything two hours away in Tucson. And we sold over 700 units. Nice. $60 a pop. In like, three, in like three, yeah, three weeks. You paid paid what for them? We paid about twenty. It was like twenty eight fifty or something like that. Yeah, so you're making eighteen twenty bucks a pop once it's all said and done. You sold them FBA. We sold them FBM because oh, Amazon, even more. Amazon. Yeah, yeah. So Amazon was on the listing, and I didn't. I was worried that in that week time frame, while I was waiting to get into FBA, two weeks, you know, with COVID, that Amazon could jump back on the listing. Sure. And so I didn't, I didn't want to risk shipping it in. You're being so conservative. We, and we were selling 50 to 70 a day there for a little while. That's awesome. At FBM. So you're putting them in a box and shipping yeah. them out yourself versus sending yeah. them all into Amazon. And, and uh, the worst, worst case scenario is, I suppose, is uh, you liquidate through them at a break even, you know, at those kind of yeah. margins. You're in good yeah, shape. Even, even just take them back to Costco and return them. It was, yeah, return them to Costco. They'll happy yeah. to take them. They're flying off the shelf, right? Yep. Yeah. That's great, man. Cool story. All right. So. Let's transition over into this workshop. And we and if you think a little lessons and we want to, you know, put more action items into this episode for sure, little tips and strategies. Um, I, I I'd love to hear some more stories. I always love it, and I know the listeners do as well of you know, how you're doing what you're doing. I'm sure they'll have a bunch of questions for you. But I want to talk about the I want to make sure I get it right. I was actually looking up on my phone while you're talking. Sorry if you noticed, I was kind of making sure I got the website right. Cause we just set up this domain name a couple of days ago. It's replanwholesaleworkshop.com. replanwholesaleworkshop.com. So by the time this podcast goes live, the website will be set up. As you and I are talking right now, that's just a domain name we bought. <laughs> but we're working away hard on the website, adding in all the features. And this, this is the offer that gets you. You go to Rich and Shelley's place and you hang out with them for a few days. 
you know, learn the business from the ground up. Um, and before I turn it over to you to kind of talk us through it, um, for those who pay attention to this podcast and have listened to several episodes, you may remember Jimmy Smith being the guest. And we have something that's kind of similar. It's kind of the opposite side of the same bell curve where we come to your town. We get an airplane to fly to your house and we meet at your business and we go shopping with you and we take you around so you're familiar with how to use your town as an asset to build a replens business. And we guarantee, I think it's, it says on the sales page, I think it's over the, over the two or three day period, you're going to find it 75 to, a, I think it was 75, we promise, replens that are yours, unique to you. And we helped you find them in the store and you can start selling those items. What we're saying now is, hey, if you're willing to travel, go to Rich and Shelley's place in Phoenix and hang out with them for a few days, see their warehouse, see their products, <laughs> see their operation, right? And uh, learn the replen slash wholesale hybrid model. So take it away, set us up a little bit on, on how this came about and I'll just turn the floor over to you for, uh, for a few minutes to tell us about it. Yeah, okay. So um, <clears throat> but, but, okay, So the, the, how it came about is Shelly and I took a trip with the kids to San Francisco to visit her brother and um, his wife and kids. And we were talking with them a little bit about starting their own Amazon business. And um, her brother approached me and he's like, hey, like, I, I want you, I don't want you to coach me. I want you to like be a part of my business. Like I want you to have ownership and I want you to just help us grow as fast as possible. And so we're like, yeah, so you should have Tammy fly out to Phoenix, his wife fly out to Phoenix, and you should learn all the basics from me. Like go spend a couple hours with Richard, my, my office manager, learn how to source wholesale, spend a couple hours with Brad, learn replens, spend a few hours with my warehouse manager, learn how to run the warehouse. And we could, we could definitely, you know, jumpstart your progress. And I think that's the best way to take partnership in your business and help you just accelerate it was to come and learn from my experts. One of the great things about our business here is we've, we've built a solid team, right? And, and building this team has allowed the individuals on my team to specialize and mm -hmm. be really, really good at what they do. That's so, right. so Richard is really, really good at wholesale sourcing. Brad is really good at replans. And my warehouse manager is phenomenal at running a warehouse. Right. So I figured instead of me trying to teach all these little experts or all these little, you know, topics, why don't I focus on teaching what I'm real good at? And yep. they focus on teaching what they're real good at. And then I thought, well, why just do this with my brother-in-law? Like, I'm sure tons of people could could really benefit from this. Um, and so that's, you know, that's when I approached you and, and to see like what, what you thought about the idea. Um, yeah. you know, I think that coming in here, I know it's kind of like drinking from a fire hydrant, a fire hose, right? Like you're getting so much in, in information at once. Um, but it's actionable information. You know, we, we decided to pilot it with my sister-in-law, um, uh, two of my sister-in-laws actually. So they flew out here, um, a couple of weeks ago. And we ran through the whole course as if we were doing it live. Um, and it went phenomenal. You know, we had, we had breakout sessions during the day. We teach them how to do replans and then we'd go do it with them. You know, we had a field trip to a couple of stores and we did the in-store shopping with them for a few hours and came back to the office, and worked on photos that they took. And it was, it was pretty, pretty cool. How were their businesses doing? How long ago was this as well? <laughs> So, yeah, so we did this two, two weeks ago. Um, one of them, one of my sister-in-law, her husband um, was laid off back in, I think, October. And um, they had kind of been messing with the idea of starting Amazon. They already had an Amazon account. They were selling a couple things here and there. Um, but when he got laid off, he decided that he was just going to make it work. Right. So they had been doing it for five or six months. Um, I've been offering them help along the way, kind of coaching them for free and, you know, just helping out family. Right. And, uh, um, they've got a business where now they're doing 20,000 a month, roughly they're, they're doing great. Got a very solid foundation. And, but it's my brother-in-law that it does a lot of the day-to-day -day stuff. So my sister-in-law is the one that flew in and took the course because she wants to take a much more active role in it. Right. Um, my other sister-in-law, she just got, her Amazon account set up a few weeks ago and hasn't even bought her first product yet. Yeah. So it was just a couple of weeks into it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we got one that's like 
brand new, hasn't done anything, and one that's been doing it for about five, six months, and and they're you know they're gaining traction, they're doing pretty well. So right, right. Uh, so you know th- this, you, I just wanted to be fully, fully candid and transparent with the listeners. Like this is a new program, but it's going to be priced properly accordingly. It, 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 so as we've proven this out, once we've got ten or fifteen glowing, amazing testimonials, which I'm blown away that the proven replen training with with Jimmy Smith provenreplantraining.com. That's kind of the other side of the bell curve here where we go to your hometown. We've, every single person that's gone through that program has been a glowing testimonial. It's not cheap because we're flying people to your town or putting them in a hotel, right? And they're they're there for a few days. And these are people who run serious businesses. You know, you're not getting B-level, you're getting high level, some of the most talented people in our, it, you know, it's, it's going to be Jimmy or it's going to be Carl. It's going to be people who run serious six-figure a month businesses. So it's not going to be cheap, but it's going to be a lot less expensive right now than it will be in six months once we've got those 20 or 30 success stories. I'll tell you that right now. And I'm guessing, Rich, you're going to be so busy and it's you and Shelly doing something else where it's not even going to be you guys you, because you're masterful. At, and I love how you said you, you're specializing. So, you know, if you could, because here's the, just to back up a step, here's the philosophical choice we all must make as we start growing our business is, do I want to bring in a team of people where everybody knows every position? And everybody can fill in for everybody. Or do we want to follow the law of specialization? Which from my vantage point, you're crazy to ignore because that's, that's the biblical concept. That's, that's the concept behind all the massive successes in business throughout history is specialization. Meaning I'm really, really, really good at this. I may know a little bit about the other jobs. I know enough to be dangerous. I can fill in maybe, but this is my specialty. You're doing that and you're hiring great people pretty soon you're going to be too busy off doing other things. And, and this is going to be just a business that you guys check the numbers once a month or whatever. You're like you're, You guys are super close to that, right? So I would want to encourage people, take advantage of this sooner rather than later. We don't know that we'll still be doing this six months or a year from now. The world changes. But right now, replinwholesaleworkshop.com. It's a concept we're testing. But we've got enough proof and evidence that these guys, one, have a great business themselves. Two, they're able to teach it to other people. And you can go to their site. We've never offered this. And spend time and see the replant wholesale model spelled out. So I'm super excited, man. I'm, I'm pretty tempted to take a shot at being there the first, at least one of the few time, first few times you do it, just to sit in and soak it up and learn myself and, and meet some of these great people. Can't promise anything. We'll see what the dates work out to. But on that website, there's going to be a handful of dates you can pick from as they fill up. How many people at a time are you are we talking about doing? It's just a, it's a small group, right? It is, yeah. So we could handle probably two to six at a time. Um, you know, to, to like total people, right? right. So like you know, three couples, and we're full. Three couples, yep, yep, mm-hmm. absolutely. So and it's, you can't it's, do it every weekend. It's going to be every few weeks at at best. So you may end up kind of booking out over time. So this is going to be a bit of a first come first serve. Things may fill up pretty quickly. I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, and call our coaching office to get the details or, or go to the website. that will have all the, the details there. But uh, tell us a little bit more about it. Like maybe take us through the, what do we do day one, day two, day three? What's the, I know you you hit us with a little bit of that, but you know, what, what's the bullet points of the agenda? Where do we start? Yeah. So I actually have that in front of me. So no way. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I so wanted you to plan that. So, uh, Very organized. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the first day, we really focus in. Like, you come in here, they'll meet the team, they'll meet all the different coaches, um, kind of get to know each other's story. Uh, but the first morning, we really focus in on learning the basics, right? So, we want to talk about Keepa. We'll spend a solid hour or two on Keepa, um, looking at it, understanding different charts, understanding how to read it. Um, and then we'll talk about Knowing your numbers, we use RevSeller um, to understand our fees and the costs. Uh, love that program. Those are the two big ones that that we definitely you, ha- you have to have, or something very similar to RevSeller. Um, and then we kind of dive into buy box theory, right? So how does the buy box rotate? Kind of where you need to be your price. Your price needs to be, and um, you know this is something I think that it might differ from from expert to expert right sure. no one really knows how it rotates but you definitely have to have an understanding of yeah. how it works yeah right? yeah amazon's top see it's like their it's like their secret sauce it's the it's the if you're a spongebob fan it's the krabby patty formula man like nobody knows 
how the buy box actually works. I don't think they even know themselves. There's some random elements in there because they don't want it to become predictable where people can manipulate it. Mm-hmm. But you do need to know enough about it to be dangerous and, and kind of, you know, you, it, it's yeah. a, you don't want to be sitting 50 cents on the wrong side of where you could be, where your stuff's just flying off the shelf. Whether you're brand new to selling on Amazon or you've been around a while, you know that making good decisions about the inventory you buy is vital. It's key to your success. There's a suite of tools that's become a great sponsor of this show because so many users in our community use it. They've caught our attention. So we approached them and they agreed, hey, you're going to love the deal we put together for you. If you go to helium10.com, not only do they help you make great decisions about what inventory to buy, but they've got a suite of tools that help you run your entire business. And they've got a 50% off discount code for you as a listener of this show. Use the discount code SSMR as in Silent Sales Machine Radio, to get a great discount on Helium 10. Helium 10.com, discount code SSMR. It's a phenomenal suite of tools sworn by by many of the coaches, leaders, and content creators in our community, many of the successful sellers, and the new sellers too. Go check it out. They've got a great offer for you. You don't want to be sitting 50 cents on the wrong side of where you could be, where your stuff's just flying off the shelf. Exactly. You don't want to price too low. But you don't want to be priced too high, mm-hmm. you know. And, and I also think there's a lot to do with having the right stock level so that your inventory is split throughout the country, so you're getting the buy box in all the regions. There's, I mean, there's a lot to it, and so we we dive into that, and, and so that's kind of our morning basic. But we also do that morning. Also do like just getting to know Seller Central and the different aspects of Seller Central. There's there's a lot of cool hidden gems in Seller Central, um, Seller University. There's a lot of good stuff in there, so. We really get into that. And then we, we dive in that afternoon into the basic replen sourcing model of like reverse sourcing. What is a replen? Um, just understanding like how you'll search for it on Amazon. And, and this is the same, you know, base that we're trying to establish for wholesale too, right? We're going to do the same basic searches uh, methodology when it comes to wholesale. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we really dig into wholesale that afternoon. And then the next morning we do a field trip and we'll hit two or three local stores, grocery store, hardware store. We, we, we have a couple and, and we want it to be super organic, right? We don't have this planned out that we're going to go take the same pictures with the same people every time we're going to hit different stores. We want it to be organic because one, I want you to see that, it, it's not always 100%. We go in and we're going to find 50 in one day. You know, sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle, but it doesn't matter what store we hit, what aisle we hit, there's, there's stuff there. Right. That's right. So, I, I love what you just said because I've said the same thing. Drop me in any store. If they've got barcodes and shelves, give me a couple hours. I'm going to find replens. I don't know if I'll find five or if I'll find fun, 25, but I'm going to find replens. And these are items that I can buy at full retail. They sell at a predictable pace, at least a handful a month. And at a good ROI, you know, they're there. They're everywhere once you know how to look. And it, it may not be the single unit on the shelf. It may be a multi-pack. It may be a combo of this item on this shelf and this item over here on this shelf. And they're now, you know, combined into a bundle. And it's highly profitable, but they're everywhere once you know how to look. Yeah, absolutely. And, and both me and Richard will go to the store with them and we split into different groups so that we're taking different photos. Right. So we'll come back to the office and then Richard spends a good solid couple hours showing them how to go through their photos and how to do the, the sourcing on that. And then we'll have a breakout um, after lunch where everybody can work on their own photos and we'll be there to answer questions and help them find their own replants. You know, a big part of just like Jimmy does with his his training, a big part of it is I want you to leave here with enough profit to, to make it worth it, right? To pay, to pay off the investment as fast right. as possible, right? right. It, what other business opportunity does that? Like if you're buying a franchise, they'd say, well, you're going to put a lot of money up front and you're going to have to finance a lot of this. But three years from now, buddy, you're going to be so <laughs> glad you did. And we're saying, hey, within a few weeks, you're going to be thinking to yourself, man, I'm smart. I've got the income streams established, you know, and that's, that's not necessarily, you know, a guarantee the program working that quickly, but- sure. For the people who have gone through it with Jimmy, that's, I mean, I did an interview just a few weeks ago with a couple that within the first weekend, they'd found a hundred replans and a year later, half of them were still rocking, you know, profitable income streams. So within just a few short weeks, 
they'd more than recouped their investment. And yeah. now they were sitting on a very viable business. Because the beauty of this is, Rich, as you and I both know, this stuff works. It's not like, hey, one out of every 10 students, you know, they turn out and they, they, it turns into something. If you're going to do the work, the replens are out there. The world has, the world has shifted. People are shopping online. Amazon can't keep their, their shelves stocked. If you know how to find the good stuff, which is what we teach you how to do, how to, how to quickly weed through 30 different items and find the winners and find the different versions of that winner. And now you've got multiple profitable products. If you can do that, you're sitting on a viable business very quickly. And it's not complicated either to, yeah. to fulfill and to, to manage and operate as, as you well know. I mean, you've, you've owned other businesses. Contrast this one to the other business models you've been a part of, or even maybe the, the jobs you've had. Like, where does this rank? Oh, this is, this is our focus, right? <laughs> so, uh, do we love this. Um, I, I think it, it's one of those things where you can come in and if, if you have $100 to your name, you can learn how to do it and have success with it. You know, if you have, if you have 100000 to your name, great. Don't start too fast. But, no, you know, right. you, can, you can also have great success with it. So, it's something that it's not a matter, in my opinion, of like, will I be successful? Can I be? It's a matter of like, do you put in enough work? Do you give it enough time? Do you learn enough to where you will be successful? It's not a matter for me if it's when. Um, if you don't quit and you put in the work, you're going to have success with it. Yeah, so. it, it, it's pretty amazing how, how transparent our Facebook group is with coming up on 65,000 members as we're recording this. And the people who do the work are, are building a business. You know, there's going to be people who buy a course and sit on the shelf or give it a couple hours and like, ah, that's not for me. You know, once you eliminate those people and you're just talking about the people who are putting in the work, let's say five to 10 hours over the course of three to six weeks, consistently, they're seeing incredible results. Because again, the way the world of e-commerce has changed, Amazon is the most visited buyer. You know, when buyers go shopping, that's where they go. They get half of all retail in the United States. and I would, I'm going to take a stab here and say that 70% of the products on there, Amazon, never has sold and never will sell. It's third-party sellers sitting on all that. Jeff Bezos even put out his, his letter. I think he said 60% of all sales on the platform are third-party sellers at this point. As of just a few days ago, that's a, that's a Jeff Bezos stat. Uh, so that's billions of dollars that's sitting out there, people shopping. And we teach you what I think to be the lowest risk, fastest result strategy. That's the replan strategy. And some people may be thinking, oh, I, I can't afford to, to fly to Phoenix and spend three days in a hotel and pay whatever this fee is. That's cool. Jump into the proven Amazon course, learn the basics, get the ball rolling. That's where most of our success stories come from. But you mentioned there are people in our audience that we want to cater to, Rich, that are saying, hey, you know what? I'd rather get started fast, learn from someone who knows what they're talking about, see the operation up close, I want to be I want to be rocking three weeks from now. I don't want to slowly tiptoe into this over the next three or four months. I want to get going right now, and and that's who this offers for, is for those folks. Um, so who who maybe and this is kind of putting you on the spot a little bit, Rich. But who isn't this for? Who else would you try to talk out of this as we're kind of processing this out loud? Where you know like oh I'd love to have a, that business, but it's not for you. If fill in the blank for a second, and, and let's just brainstorm on that a little bit. Well. I I would think that you know if you're if you need to put it all on a credit card, you know it's, it's probably not for you. That's a good. That is great uh, advice. I, yeah. I in my business, I love leveraging debt, and I love I leverage credit cards. But I always pay it off every month. You know, I don't pay interest. So I, I personally am okay with with using debt to grow, uh, but I'm not okay with using debt if I don't have the ability to pay it off within a reasonable amount. You don't have the system established yet. Yeah. yeah. So it's, you know, it's, if you, if you have $500 in the bank, like it's probably not for you, but, but you can get there, you know, and you can, there's just like Jim says, you know, jump into the pack, learn, learn the process, you know, find those first 50, hundred replans. And then a year from now it is for you. Right. So you can, you can definitely get there. Um, and, and we have one-on-one -on -one coaches, which you guys do coaching. How many students do you and Shelly have right now? Um, probably a little over a dozen, maybe, maybe 15 or so. Yeah, as many as we can squeeze in. And, and that's how our coaching program works is we, you know, we go back to our most successful coaching students. 
who have a teacher's heart, which you can obviously tell Rich does and, and Shelly, who's not here today, but she's in the past episodes. They like teaching this to people. I mean, they're helping family out and teaching them and getting these businesses going. They have a teacher's heart. That's how we find our coaches. It's not script readers. They're not paid hourly to read a script and go through a workbook with you. These are past coaching students like Rich and Shelly were who have succeeded. And we say, hey, do you want to be a coach? Take on a handful of students as time as allows. And so a coaching program is kind of in between someone who says, I think I'm just going to grab the proven Amazon course. Well, if you want some one-on-one attention, but you don't want to hop on an airplane, you don't want anyone flying to your town, you don't want to fly to anyone else's town. Coaching is kind of that in-between price point where you can do like what Rich and I are doing right now, the Zoom type meeting and go through and uh, you know build your business an hour a week, I think is kind of the average experience. Sometimes it's every other week, but you have a coach that you can call and you can text a quick question to. You have someone that knows what they're talking about that you can connect with. So that's kind of the in-between offer. But we just like having a, a bunch of different offers. Our, our community has grown significantly enough now that we don't necessarily have an offer for everybody yet. So we're trying to figure out where these gaps are. And one of the things that I think is going to be very, very popular after have we, we talked around a little bit and, and bounced this off of some of the community is going to your place and hanging out. Uh, I think this thing's going to fill up fast and we're going to have to be adding dates to the calendar pretty quick. That's my instinct. Yeah, we're, we're pretty excited about it. Um, and it's, actually, I think it's, it's one of those opportunities where, you know, very rarely can you, can you jump into something and learn so much about the process all at once, you know, and then you can decide where you want to take it, right? Because because we're going to give you, you know, day three, we didn't get into it. Day three, you spend the whole morning with my warehouse staff, right? We're going to tell you, show you how to create shipments, how to prep products, how to, how to do not just UPS, but also how to do that LTL and save extra money if you're at that volume. You know, we, we cover so many things. on gating. we got a great PPC module that we do pay-per-click where we'll teach you how to, you know, opt- uh, do those really cheap ads with with our wholesale and reclaim products that that uh, you know we have, we have three percent acquisition costs on that stuff, um, oh, which is is unheard of, right? Like yeah. it's it's fantastic be in front of those 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 sellers or those buyers. Well, let, let's uh, make that like a little little bonus content for the the loyal listeners who maybe aren't using that strategy. I know how we run our pay per click. I'm curious, you give me like if you had to give me your one minute summary of how you guys set your pay per click up, and, and let me set it up this way while you're thinking about that, Rich. Most people, when you say pay-per-click advertising on Amazon, the way they've been exposed to it is, well, that's how I launch my private label product is I go in and I spend a ton of money so I can get some people familiar with my product and hopefully gain some momentum and play in the keyword game, uh, you know, thousands of keywords and drilling down and finding the right keyword. That's not what we're talking about, right? With, with a replens model where you've got hundreds of different products that you're selling, you're not going to go in and do research on every product. You're going to just set up a general across the board, low, you know, few pennies a click kind of thing, just to get your stuff popping into the customer's screen a little more often than it might otherwise. And you can kind of track and see how that's doing. It's simple to set up. I think I remember setting ours up in about 10 minutes. And it's, it's not complicated. But talk me through, like, what's your guys' philosophy? Give me the minute or two breakdown on how you guys handle that uh, if, for, for a replen slash wholesale seller. Because yeah. you guys don't have any private label, right? We we have very little. We do have some stuff where it's our wholesale stuff, unbranded wholesale that we've converted into private label. Yeah, you kind of put uh, it in your own bag, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So, yeah, but so no, we're not. We don't you're need. not inventors. You're not out there trying to to research okay. a thousand keywords and drill down like, hey, here's the next best mouse trap, and I hope everybody likes it, and I better do the great marketing work that's needed. You're not doing that kind of pay per click. You say, hey, let's get our stuff in front of the shop average shopper a little more often and spend a few yeah. pennies a click to do it. Yeah, so ours, yeah, ours is really basic, just like that. We just set up a general ad uh, campaign that covers all of our products, right? And it's a, for us, it's a five cent click. And we, we do like the dynamic up and down. So we may spend as much as 10 cents uh, per click, but we throw all of our products in it. Um, and we set the budget high, um, you know, we set the budget, you know, 30, I think we're up to $35 a day. Um, and we, know we have, we have like 1800 products, yeah. but we never even spend that $35 a day. I love when you said we set our budget high because I've talked to, I've talked to other, um, 
private label sellers with a product and they're spending thousands of dollars a day trying to get the attention of the community. You know, that's why we, we don't start people out with private label. If I could just do a little mini rant here, Rich, and we'll go back to your $30 a day thing. I'm going to finish that thought. But if you start off with a private label and you get your dream product and you found these magical keywords from this expensive software that you were talked into buying from some YouTube expert and you bought the $4,000 course and finally this stuff's coming from China and they're telling you how to go spend all this money on keywords and manipulate the review system, which isn't allowed. And, you know, and suddenly here all comes all these competitors and you're playing the pay-per-click game, trying to win with the best keywords. That's not a game for the faint of heart. That's a way to roll the dice with about $50,000 and hope it works out. And if you're new, you got about a five or 10% chance of winning that game. That's just the industry statistics based on my experience and the number of people we have call us literally in tears with a garage full of the wrong product that the software told them it was right. The guru on YouTube told them it was right. They found a great niche. It's a hot, and they got a great price on it from China, but now they got a garage full of it and it's not selling because someone's selling it for a, a quarter of what they are. And it's a better product with better reviews. As soon as they start, they've got competition. Replans and wholesale helps you avoid all of that. Now you may find some magic, you know, you and Shelly are going to find some magic product at some point. It's going to be this little unicorn that'll spike out of the rest of your stuff. And you'll be ordering hundreds of units at a time and it's your private label and you're building a brand. But that's going to happen organically. You're at 1,800 products right now, selling a handful at a time, buying a handful at a time. If a competitor comes along and wipes you out on three or four of those a week or a month or whatever, no big deal. Yeah, right? I don't even notice that. You liquid them out, you liquidate them out and you stop buying it. Yeah. You don't have a thousand sitting in your garage. You're only buying the stuff that's selling. That's the beauty of this model. So we go back to the pay-per-click comment. And I love how you said, yeah, we've got to set pretty high, $30, $35 a day. <laughs> like, it's nothing, right? <laughs> nothing, man, right? But that's all it takes to just to, to boost this whole system. And, and you, you talked about your return on investment for that spin. So that $30 a day is bringing you, well, more like what, 10 or $15 a day on average, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, we're probably at fifteen to twenty dollars a day is typically what we spend. And yeah. what it, what does that bring you in sales? Like, how good so of an we, investment is that for you? It's it's thirty x what we spend is our is our sales. So, so you get about six hundred dollars a day in business that you wouldn't be getting otherwise. Correct. Because you're yep. willing to spend twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and so we just throw all of our products in this campaign. Um, and the great thing about this campaign versus like private label is there's already proven demand on these products, right? There's already people searching for it. So for five cents, you're jumping in front of some of these that, that might see the single versus like your two pack. And mm -hmm. now for five cents, you're jumping the line, right? Yep, and, you're at the top of the page. Yep, absolutely. So, but, so we throw everything in there and then we do it, I think every week or two where we'll add all of our new stuff so that everything's staying up to date. And then I, I track it. I let it set for three or four weeks. And then I go in and I look at it product by product. And anything that's not performing, and anything that's got an A cost of over 15% is kind of what I set. If it's over 15%, I shut it off product by product. So I let the ones that aren't performing where I'm overspending, shut those off. On the ones that anything under 15%, I leave those run because those are the ones that are performing and I'm, I'm getting sales off of those clicks. That's beautiful. Yeah. So you can keep track of your average cost per sale, a cost, and Amazon tells you this. You look at the data. I mean, you really can learn everything you need to know. There's some really pricey courses out there that teach you pay-per-click. We've, we've got a super simple module in the Proven Amazon course that talks you through the basics of pay-per-click, but it's just not complicated. For, you know, most people are going to spend, you know, you're at 1,800 products and you're spending $20 a day to advertise all of them and get them like you said, it's products people are already looking for anyway. So all this does is just kind of bumps you to the top of the page. So those super lazy shoppers that aren't looking at price, they're not going to scroll at all. They're just like, I need this product. There it is. Top of the page. Boom. Click. Got it. You got that sale and you made extra margin on it because you can have your price a little higher when you're running paid ads and uh, you're still going to get those sales. So that's yeah. a good way to get that extra margin. That's, yeah. that's all you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we generated over a quarter million dollars last year from this strategy over a quarter million of revenue yeah in revenue yes and that's at your what are your guys general margins if you know offhand 
So our gross margin on product sales is 19%. Gotcha. So uh, obviously our, our net is a bit lower than that with, with the lease and the payrolls and stuff like that. Yeah. But. So, so you, you made about 50 grand because you set up some simple pay-per-click ads. Yeah. Basically. Right. Yeah. And, and that cost me about, I think it's like $8,500, I believe to run those ads. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a no brainer and you can turn off the ones that aren't working at any time. You, you, really, we just gave everybody, I'd say 85 to 90% of what they need to go do this. If they're a replin seller, don't be intimidated by it. Certainly don't go buy an expensive course. There's a module in the proven Amazon. There's a module in the proven Amazon course for just about everything, but the relationships, the value of relationships, and maybe this is a good place to start to end this thing because I can tell you right now, I've, I've been doing this for 20 years, Rich, and the way this works is the people who go out and take the time to actually hang out, spend time, get to know the people who are making things happen, they're the ones that succeed. The people who kind of sit back and wait and, and they're, they think, I'm going to figure this out on my own. I can do this from home. I don't need relationships. I need skills. I don't need relationships. I need knowledge. I don't need relationships. I need tactics and strategies. You're wrong. You're flat out wrong. It's the people who get out, build a relationship with Rich and Shelley, end up partnering with them on some project. Next thing you know, we're looking over our shoulder. It's five years down the road and you guys have this incredible operation that you're doing because you went to one of their first events, got to know them, improved their system somehow, partnered with them on a project or something, and off you go to the races, writing a book together or something. That's the way this works. It's relationship-driven. Uh, it, yeah, numbers, data, products, but it's relationship-driven. So maybe it's not Rich and Shelley, maybe it's others, but you've got to be building relationships. This is certainly a great opportunity to do it. So I'm going to plug the website again. Um, do you happen to know what it is offhand? Replan Wholesale Workshop. Nailed it. <laughs> Dot com. Got it, buddy. I, I had to write it down, phone. man. I keep checking it every day to see if there's any updates. Oh, it, yeah. Robin's working hard on it, man. We're, we're plugging away. We've had a couple server issues lately, slowing some things down. But it, it, I've got my tech guy busy, like putting out a couple of fires today. That's one thing. When you start having some websites with, with significant traffic is, man, the, the hackers love coming after you and causing havoc. And so you got to have a good tech guy, which we got now. But Nice. But that website's coming. By the time you're listening to this and the, the, the listeners of this show are listening, it, it'll be up and running. So uh, we'll be ready to, to start locking in some of those dates. Just give us a call and, and get that rocking. Well, any final thoughts, man? Any, any advice? Yeah, or- so, so I definitely have to plug the last like a day and a half. Right? Oh, we haven't talked through it. We, yeah. Yeah, no, so we, we've talked about the replan part of it. Right. Um, and I think this community does replans better than any in the world, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but the last part of it is wholesale and then bringing the two of them together. Right. So the last day, that fourth day is bringing the replans and wholesale together, how they complement each other. And also at the very end, we talk about team building. So how you can hire your VA, your shopper, how I've built my team here, and now I have a team of experts in the different areas. Um, so I, I don't want you guys to be intimidated by wholesale. I love wholesale. And um, I think it's just a natural progression from replans to wholesale. Uh, I progress the opposite way, but <laughs> it, it worked for us. Yeah. Uh, but I, I love wholesale. So we really get into um, the two types of wholesale that I like best are working with distributors and working with uh, the brands directly. Um, so we, we talk a lot about the obstacles uh, getting into wholesale and why brands don't like to work with third-party sellers and the different things that we can do to overcome that um, as far as you know being the the industry expert and not being that average third-party seller that doesn't pick up the phone or doesn't respond to emails or negotiates these crazy discounts and then a place a hundred dollar order right? right that stuff drives people crazy right. but we talk about all the stuff that you need to set up as a base to have a really successful wholesale business and, um, you know, I, I think if, at least for me, like scaling your business, one of the best ways to do that is through wholesale, whether it's finding new wholesale products and or moving your refunds to wholesale where possible. Um, so I, I really like to think that we're kind of the, the wholesale experts. We got it figured out. And so, you know, I, I love teaching people to, to not be afraid of wholesale and the, the, the right ways to get into it, kind of dip your toes 
um, and, uh, you know, scale your business through wholesale. Yeah. I, I think maybe we need a, uh, wholesale proven wholesale. Is it, it's either proven wholesale sourcing or proven wholesale training.com. We'll stick it in the show notes. That's our current wholesale course. I think you guys need to do a, go through that and do a version 2.0 because you've done a lot of it now. And Teresa, our coach for that is into some other projects. It's still phenomenal current up-to-date content, but I bet you guys could enhance it and add to and expand on it a little bit, even improve the proven Amazon course and have that course out there as a, as a separate updated version, all kinds of opportunity. And uh, for those kind of reading between the lines you know, of how we do things around here, as students succeed, we turn them into coaches, we turn them into leaders, we give them a platform, we say, hey, create content, we pay them well to do it. And our community gets better and uh, it gets stronger because of it. We have more leaders and, and more people that you can rely on and listen to and learn from. That's how we've been doing things for a long time. So it's real. It, I'm truly honored, Rich, to be working with you and Shelly. You're, you have the entrepreneurial spirit. You got a beautiful family. You guys are doing life the right way, man. And, and you're, just, you're a success story. And you know, there's a lot of businesses the past 12, 18 months have just been body slammed. A lot of businesses have gone under. A lot of businesses are struggling. And here we are in a community of people where people are willing to do the work. Their businesses are thriving. So we're blessed. And I love working with other leaders that have that, that teaching heart while succeeding themselves. It's an honor, dude. Thanks, man. I, I, I love this community. And uh, you know, it's been great being a part of it for the last six years. Learning yeah. from you guys and, and now, uh, now giving back. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you're giving back in a huge way. And I, I don't know that you ever took anything. You're just giving. <laughs> you got nothing you got to give back. You don't know anybody, anything, but you're sticking around and teaching. And uh, I certainly appreciate that, man. There's plenty of people that start succeeding and they just kind of put their nose to the grindstone and we don't hear from them again because they're off building incredible businesses. The next time we hear from them, uh, I had a guy come up to me at an event. I spoke in uh, Hong Kong, the only time I was over there. And he came up to me and said, hey, I feel like I owe you a bit of a, a thank you. Uh, you've never heard of me before, never talked to you before, never sent you an email before, but you taught me a business strategy through one of the programs you launched several years ago. And I can't remember, it was tens of millions of dollars the guy had made. <laughs> I'm like, why haven't you reached out to me? Let's teach other people what it is you do. Let's, you know, and he's like, ah, I just like stay quiet. I don't want to be a leader. I don't want to be in the spotlight. I'm like, all right, I understand that. But you yeah. know, so there's, there's there are people out there like that, but there's also people like you like, hey, you know what? I'm not, I've never spoke on stage before, but we got the event coming up. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> and uh, before we know plenty it, man. Yeah, plenty of opportunity for everybody. Absolutely. Huge opportunities everywhere. There's plenty of gaps in what we have to offer here. So, all right, man. Well, let me talk to the listeners for just a second. I think we're going to wrap this up. Unless, did we leave anything out, Rich? I don't want to. No, I can't think of anything else. Um, you know, I'd love to, love to host you here. Um, you know, I think we've, we've built probably. In my opinion, I think we've really built something amazing. Um, oh, you have. And I think that there's there's a lot that you can gain from coming out and spending some time with us. And not just for me, for my whole team. That was one of the, the biggest things I wanted to do is just involve my entire team in yeah. in teaching. And, you know, because I'm not the warehouse expert. You know, I did it a few years ago, but mm -hmm. I, have, I haven't bagged and tagged anything. And in quite a while, right? So my warehouse manager is way better at it than I ever was. And so come out here and learn from him. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's just great leadership it really is. I don't want to talk to a leader who knows all the answers because that means they don't know how to grow a team. I want to talk to a leader that says, I know someone who knows the answer. That's a good leader, right? Not someone who can answer all your questions because that, there, no one knows it all. Not in this business. We, we never will. I've, I, I frequently say, I haven't said it in a while, but I've been doing this over 20 years now, Rich. And the longer I'm in it, the more I feel like I don't know anything. Now it's all working. What I am doing is working well. And we've helped a lot of people build great businesses. But every time you turn a corner, you're like, this whole new frontier. There's no rules. What do we do now? What, how do we do it? Like, I don't know, just go forward. Let's start testing. You test small, you take small risks. When something works, you go a little deeper. You keep doing that and you keep building. And that's what we've been doing for a long time. And that's what you guys have been doing. Um, I love it because there's no big risks needed. Just no big risks needed. No big risks. And there's no bigger opportunity. There's never been a bigger opportunity. I, I mean, no. the market has changed in the last, what, 12, 14 months where 
Uh, I personally don't think that the amount of sellers has increased to the level that online sales has increased. Oh, no way. It's lagging. It's lagging way behind. Yeah. So we need, we need more people succeeding and we need more people in the, the market needs more people selling, right? It's not saturated. And if you know how to do it, if you learn how to do it, the opportunity is, is huge. Yeah. Um, so there's, there is kind of that like that vacant hole that needs to be filled by, by, right. by emerging experts. And the, right. The, well, I mean, you, you look at Amazon, they hired half a million people in a, just a matter of a few months just to keep up with customer demand. And they're still sitting right now on, I would guess, millions of ASINs that people would buy if they had them in stock. They're just sitting there to zero because no one's bothered to, to box it up and put it online where someone can buy it, go to the store and put it in a put it listed, you know, it's sitting there. It used to sell. No one's bothered to go out. The demand is far outpacing the supply in physical goods right now. Uh, there's a lot more money flying around out there than there are goods. So this is a window of opportunity for sure. And yeah, if you're willing to do the work, man, this stuff works. Awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out with Rich and I today. Talk to the listener here for just a minute. Hopefully you found it as valuable as I did and as exciting as I did. And even if you don't fly and see Rich and Shelly in Phoenix, please know we offer a host of phenomenal options, not the least of which is just listen to five or 10 more of these podcast episodes, meet some of the real people who are succeeding using these simple, low risk, high potential return processes that we teach around here on the number one e-commerce platform in the world, what I believe to be the number one business building opportunity in all of world history, because the risks you have to take are so tiny, like we've talked over and over again, and the potential is so huge. There's no need to go out and take a huge risk, learn a bunch of new tech skills, spend a bunch of money. No, this stuff works. So dip your toe in. Get the proven Amazon course or call our coaching office. Those links are in the show notes. But if you want to fly out and meet Rich and Shelly, hang out at their place for a few days, see their operation, go deep, build a relationship, which my theory is, I know you probably you may not be thinking this way, Rich, but my theory is if all someone did was get to hang out with you guys for a few days and there was no curriculum, it was just getting to know Rich and Shelly Potter because they're going places it's worth three times whatever the price tag is on this thing. Because now you've got someone you know in the industry who knows what they're talking about that you can call on. And as the rules change and as the seasons drift, you're going to have someone that's creative and winning and knows what they're doing as a, as a friend. You're going to know them. Uh, but hey, I'm, I think I'm going to sign off here. This has been a really fun episode for me. Thank you again, Rich. Tell Shelly I said, hey. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in Tampa. July, if you're listening to this before July 2021, we're getting together in Tampa. Go to theprovenconference.com. Rich will be presenting on stage, maybe a little nervous. So give him a big smile if you're watching him. Uh, but he's going to do a tremendous job for us and Shelly too, hopefully, uh, as some of our new leaders and up and coming. And they're on our coaching team as well. So just some, I'm just surrounded by such great people. I'm blessed. But God bless all the business building warriors out there listening today. It was cool hanging out with you. Please leave us some feedback. Leave us a thumbs up or subscribe. Or if you're on iTunes, uh, leave us a five star. Tell friends about silentgym.com. That's the only advertising we do is when I point at this <laughs> little placard that says Silent Gym. That's our marketing right there. Uh, so spread the word, man. I appreciate it. And that's how we find new listeners. So we'll have another episode for you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, before we go, just a quick thing. I wanted to remind you that Helium 10 has become a great sponsor of this show. They've got an offer exclusive for the audience, the listeners, the business building warriors of this community. If you go to helium10.com and use the discount code SSMR, as in silent sales machine radio, you'll get the tool that's being used by over 1 million Amazon sellers at this point. They're actively tracking over... 2 billion different products on Amazon at any given time, providing data and helping you make good decisions on what products you should and shouldn't sell, as well as an entire suite of products that help you run your entire Amazon business instead of piecing it together a little bit from here, a little bit from there. It's a great tool. Many, many coaches on our team use it, the content creators. I know that Nathan, our coaching director, swears by it as well. So we were very excited to bring them on as a sponsor. Again, Helium 10 discount code SSMR and I'll take good care of you. Hey, God bless you, business building warrior.